This video includes paid promotion from River Island. Hello, hi, welcome back to the channel. I had a really wild thought the other night. Isn't it crazy how we spend a lot of time with ourselves? Basically our entire existence. We're in our own brain, we're in this body. We are going through it with this. If you asked yourself, who are you? A lot of us would say, I have no idea who I am. And don't you think that's crazy? There's clearly a disconnect there. How can you spend so much time with yourself yet have no idea who you are? And I feel like one of the reasons why that is, is because even though we are with ourselves all the time, we don't really spend time with ourselves that much. And what I mean by that is like quality time, just getting to know ourselves. Like that's so rare. I would describe my life as kind of being on a treadmill where I'm like constantly go, go, go. And and my brain's kind of like a scatter brain. I very rarely have time to just process what's going on, let alone free time to just do things for me. Which is quite sad when you say it out loud, but I'm hoping a lot of people can relate with that. Today, I've decided I'm gonna take myself on a date, just doing things for fun. Like no other motive other than I'm hanging out with myself for fun. The first thing on the agenda is sorting out a date outfit, because I need to look good for myself, you know what I mean? Normally, I look like this. This is how I dress like, let's be honest, way more than uncomfortable exposing online. If I'm not leaving my flat, I'm like, I don't need to dress up. Who am I dressing up for? No one's gonna see me. But then I realize, girl, I am the occasion. Why have I normalized just looking like a bum? Like that's not cute. Today, I'm gonna really make an effort. I've come up with four different outfits for my date with myself today, and they're all very different styles. Let me know what outfit is your favorite? And let's see if we pick the same one. Let's check out outfit number one. I am obsessed. This is a denim jumpsuit. I would never in a million years think to get something like this or wear something like this. But now that I have it, it literally fits like a glove. All the outfits, top to bottom, even the boots are all from River Island. I am just obsessed. That's outfit number one. Let's go to the next one. This is outfit number Two. These are so cool. They've got like a checkered print on them. It's a fun, fab, fresh tie. What I love about River Island is that they come with options. They give you so much choice that you're bound to find something that works for you. They do petite sizes, they do tall sizes, regular sizes. They have a different range when it comes to like skinny jeans, flared jeans, mom jeans, and they have like cool patterned ones like this. The options are endless. Normally I would find jeans shopping a chore, but with River Island, it's fun. Third outfit, we've gone for the flared jeans, which are like super flattering. They're like high-waisted. They make me look so tall, man. This outfit is very different for me. I don't normally go for the frills and stuff. It isn't something I would normally choose, but now that I have it on, I really like this outfit. I feel really like cute. Have you seen Sex Education when he's like, oh, I look pretty. I feel very pretty. And the final and fourth outfit, which is the high-waisted skinny jeans. Cause we love a skinny jean moment. Very flattering and very comfy. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing jeans. And again, makes my legs look so tall. Anything that can make me look taller than I am, I am 100% down for. Very, very flattering, really good fit. I'm obsessed. And I thought this would look really good with this jacket. What? and cute outfit. Wow, I look so cute. And I never say that about myself. It's very autumnal, which is perfect for this time of the year. I think I'm gonna go for the fourth outfit, which is this look. This is my outfit of choice. Let me know which one you chose and whether we chose the same one and if you're happy with my date outfit today. I'll leave a link to all my outfits in the description box below. Definitely go check them out. Go explore different styles, try different types of jeans and just have fun. Now I'm about to have fun by going to the city. Let's go to Central, let's go. come to Hyde Park. It literally looks like I'm in a painting right now. And they already started setting up Winter Wonderland. I didn't realize they already started with that, but there we go. It's actually such a nice day today. I think I really lucked out. Now I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm thinking about food. The good thing about London is there's so many cool spots, but there's one that I've had my eye on and it looks stunning, like the architecture and everything. It's just so good. We're gonna go to a place called Mercato Mayfair, which is like a five minute walk from here. And honestly, it's so stunning. So yeah, we're gonna go there and have some lunch. How nice is this area? I kind of match, but we're here and it looks so nice. With all the Christmas trees and decors out, feeling in the festive spirit. This is Mercato Mayfair. I got myself prawn fried rice. It looks really good. 
I am massively impressed with this place. I'm eating by myself in public, but I'm not like self-conscious about it. It feels quite cozy and nice. I feel like this space is really catered for people who do want to eat by themselves. The food is really good. It's like stunning. I also did a bit of journaling just to like write down my thoughts and kind of plan for the new year because it is fast approaching and I do not feel prepared for it at all. And there's a lot I want to achieve next year. It's going to be quite a big one. So yeah, I've just been writing my thoughts down and trying to organize my thoughts. It's been a really great day. And it's reminded me that actually eating by yourself in public isn't as scary as you think it is. Like today has been really fun and really nice. And I always forget how much I enjoy days like this where I spend it by myself doing things I enjoy. Like yeah, I'm blogging in public whilst eating. Who would have thought I'd be this okay with that? I would highly recommend it. If you have doubts and if you're like anxious like me, I would highly recommend it because when you're actually in the situation, when you find the right spot, it can be a really fun, great time. So I am way too early for this Christmas market because there's not much going on and it's raining. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Look at that nice cute tree. I'm sure it's way more lit in the evening. But right now it's pretty dead, so I'm gonna take a U-turn. But there you go, Christmas market, we love that. As you guys can see, the sunshine has gone and it is now raining. It's a good choice in the jacket actually, because it's you know good for rain. I've decided instead of having like a set activity, I'm just gonna walk around and explore. Just be present for a bit. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a little bit. Just go for a little walk, wander around, go into some shops, why not? Annoyingly, the Christmas lights don't officially come on till tomorrow, so I can't show you that. But like London is looking very sparkly and festive and cute. I love that. It's making me feel all special inside. And then I was thinking I'll go to Italy. You guys have probably seen in my um, eating Italian food for 24 hours video. Because in that video I picked something up that was like a pasta with mushroom in it and it was so good. So I'm thinking I might cook myself a fancy meal tonight. Date for one. Yeah, we'll have a little chinwag of my thoughts of the day after my nice little stroll in London by myself. I'm feeling very much like a main character. <gasps> oh, and that tree in the background. Oh my God. This is what I envisioned when I was first moving to London. It took me two years, but we're here. I'm in a great spirit. I should do this more often. I should really do this more often because I feel fantastic. It's gone dark already, but look how nice London is in the nighttime. It's so cute. One thing I like about London is that you feel so small in the big city. I like feeling like a little dot in the big city. It is dinner time. So I thought I'd cook myself dinner, get a candle on, make it all nice and cute. And let's just talk about my day and all the revelations I've had. These look so cute. They're like little parcels of heaven, honestly. So I'm just gonna boil these for like three minutes. So really not that long at all. I'm gonna have to get my multitasking on. I hate feeling rushed when I'm cooking. This is gonna take three minutes. So while that does, I'm just gonna heat up the sauce. Right, let's do this. You know what, it's actually really cute making an effort for yourself. It's not something I ever think to do, but what a cute concept. Like we make so much effort for other people, but why do we not do the same for ourselves? Why do we not see that as much of a priority? Let me know in the comment section below. Mmm, it smells good. Oh, we eating good today. We eating real good today. We're bringing out the nice stuff for ourselves. I tried to make it a oh, fancy presentation, but it didn't quite work. But it tastes good, and that's all that matters, really. So this is my little dining table for one. My drink of choice is gonna be Italian lemonade. That's the good stuff right there. Candles for the ambiance. We love that. Hey, there we go. We love a bit of mood lighting. Welcome to my date night with myself. Cheers. Oh. That is so good. That's the best lemonade I've ever had. The best date activity or exercise in getting to know myself better is doing a table talk question, which we haven't done on the channel in a while. Feel free to um, leave your answers in the comment section below. Let's find out what today's question shall be. Man, some of these are too deep. <laughs> I don't want to cry over my dinner. Mmm. This is really good. I I knocked it out of the park. Honestly, 10 out of 10. This is actually quite a quick and simple answer, actually. The question is, if you were braver, what would you be doing with your life? I do feel like I've been quite brave already to get to where I am now. To be in the position that I'm in, I definitely had to take some risks and some put myself out of my comfort zone. I think if I was braver, I would move to another country because it's something that I quite like the idea of having a fresh start, moving to another country, creating a new life for myself. I quite like that idea, but I don't know if I would ever do it because I don't quite feel brave enough. We shall see. Because the thing is, I don't really have a life plan. Five years ago, I would never have known I'd be where I am now. So who knows? 
Maybe it will happen, who knows? Maybe I'm putting that out into the world, manifesting. Let me know your answer in the comment section below. Thoughts on today. First of all, I always forget how much I enjoy doing things by myself. It feels like I'm living in a movie and I'm the main character and I'm just going around the city. And one thing I like about London is that there's so much going on, that you feel so small and insignificant. And I quite like that. I like being lost in the crowd and just like being in awe of everything. And so today was really nice. And I think because the Christmas lights and all that were out, it felt a lot more special. So um, we love that. We love being the main character. It was just really fun. I think I need to prioritize spending quality time with myself more because it literally makes the world a difference. All my fears I had about like, you know, in public, public blogging and all of that, like literally went out the window. I was completely fine. And in fact, not only was I fine, I really enjoyed it. It was just really nice to be present in the moment, enjoying the little things. I just feel a lot happier for it. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me take myself on a date because that's not weird. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know that you matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. This video includes paid promotion from River Island.